Hi, this is Steve Walton from Tropic Heating and PatioHeat.com. Here is a residential application. So we have a structure above. It's kind of like a lattice type of structure. This is a deck um, patio. We have a barbecue section, seating section over here for dining. And we have a door here that swings, I believe, out based on the hinges. And then um, there is a seating area over here on this side here, the patio. So let's go ahead and look at uh, what I can do here. This is a preliminary um, type of application, so this isn't uh, set in stone yet. We need to get some more details um, in order to make this uh, project work out properly. So um, first of all, let's go ahead and look at the uh, dimensions. Dimensions I have of the space overall. You can see the structure on top is 12, the height is 8, and the um, width is 25 feet. Now there is a seating um, uh, area that swings around the space here, um, and I have that starting at 10 feet and ending at 12.6. Um, that's kind of critical because it is a seating area that they want to be uh, want to use. It's kind of like a bench seat here that goes around. Um, here, let's go back into the image here. You can see that over here on the right. <clears throat> so um, that's critical and um, also some other issues that are very very critical and uh, that's going to be the distance between these beams. I have these uh, two by seven and a quarter. I think that's uh, approximately what they gave me. Um, but this is the dimension that's going to be the um, deciding factor. I have uh, one foot four and a half inches between the two beams, not between the um, center points, but two, between the two beams. And I have that um, the same on all of these here. So if they're different, it's very important. Um, otherwise, we can't do this layout. So um, you can see here I have uh, these slimline units. These are 4,000 watt slimline units and um, I have them spaced um, evenly throughout there on this area and we'll get the um, exact locations here um, based on receiving the proper information here. So this is, a, this is just an example here um, of a C model and you can see the C model here when I place it there. Um, let me just take the uh, here we go. So the C model, you can see um, the clearance above, because of the width of the units, five inches, we don't make the clearance above. So that's why I cannot pick a C series model. It just will not fit. So let's get rid of that. And then we'll go to the slimline model. In the slimline model, you can see this is a six inch clearance from the edge of the heater out here and then up and around the heater itself. So six inches from here to the top and um, six inches around all sides. Now, here's the important issue. This clearance is not being met. I'm just a fraction of an inch off here and um, that's why that, that one dimension is critical. I have the heater centered between the two beams here. Um, but if I had probably just a half inch more, maybe even a quarter inch, um, I would be uh, probably no problem able to recommend this heater. Now, what I don't want to do is I don't want to recommend the heater to be installed, let's say, down here where I'm meeting the clearances. Um, you could even, you know, move it up slightly because the uh, you can see here that the clearances, you know, start to go around so it's six inches from all sides so here to six inches um, but I'd prefer to have it like this it just looks a lot better in the application so that's why I'm you know really looking at this as being the deciding factor of this uh, dimension right here <clears throat> so that being said let's go ahead and look at the uh, the footprint of heat and, and by the way the clearance uh, below the heater um, you can see here we have that swinging door, so that swinging door is part of the uh, deciding factor um, as well as one other factor that you know we aren't into that zone of the door hitting the clearance area. 
Um, but the other part of that is the fact that that seating, uh, bench style seating, um, is being penetrated by the ray too. So that's why it's offset like that as well. So you can see here with four of these 4,000 watt units, we have plenty of coverage for this space. Um, one of the thing is the customer mentioned that there was a nine foot installation height, and I'm not sure if the image itself came out to where it's not um, clear, but um, I'm coming up with a eight foot uh, height of that uh, highest point. So that's another critical thing that we just want to make sure that we're addressing that properly. So, all right, I think that's, um, let's see here, I think that's all we can show at this point. But you can see, again, we have, you know, very nice coverage here. We're not hitting the bar area nor the barbecue space, but um, I think that will be uh, a terrific application if we can get this true dimension here and very specific by the way and it'd have to be like you can see i have it in the third bay and then i skip four over and that would have to be a very specific dimension you know sometimes i've even had people remove these and just move them slightly over to accommodate that that could be done as well all right if you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application we're here to help send your information to support at patioheat.com and if this has helped you in any way, we appreciate a thumbs up. And I thank you and have a great day.